Hi everyone. This video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 4.2.4.4 Connecting a Wired and Wireless LAN. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS Introduction to Networks Version 6 curriculum. Now in this particular lab assignment we have a lot of devices in our topology over here. Everything from computers and servers and a home printer as the end devices to more intermediary devices like our switch, our cable modem, if you were, you know, most of us are familiar with that or some type of DSL modem at home, uh, enterprise routers to connect us to the outside world, and then this cloud is more representative of a lot of different devices. So it's more like uh, the outside internet, our internet service provider and things like that. So this lab assignment has you cable all these devices together. Now we notice that there is some wireless action going on between the wireless router um, and the home printer and the home PC already. We've got to physically cable some of these devices together as well. Um, and that kind of goes along with chapter four when it covers that first layer uh, with the physical layer in the OSI model. So we have to really think about what devices we have at a, a physical standpoint, what is the equipment, what ports does that equipment have, and how do we connect that to other equipment to be interconnected. So the first thing we're going to do is connect the cloud to router zero, and it tells you the cable as well as what ports to plug it into. This orange lightning bolt symbol down here uh, in the bottom left hand corner is our cables button and then we have a lot of uh, cables down here an array of different ones and if you hover your mouse over each one like this blue one here is a console cable copper straight through copper crossover fiber phone coax or your cable cord serial DCE which we'll learn about later serial DTE which is the other end of the cable an octal cable um, some people call that a toss link uh, IoT custom made cable, you may work with that in the Internet of Things, and a USB cable, which everybody knows what that is. So there's a lot of different cables here that we can choose from. Um, certain devices come custom with, or sorry, come default with certain ports. Um, you can always look at the back of each one of these devices. I just clicked on the router there, and it'll show you what ports are here. That FE10 uh, one zero and FE zero zero. That's our fast Ethernet. Some people say FA or just F. That's our fast Ethernet. You see a console port, an auxiliary port, and two serial ports here. Serial one, serial zero. All right, and you can actually power this device off and then add in more modules from over here to the left. Each one of these you can kind of see adds in more Ethernet ports or. Uh, phone lines or more serial ports you can just drag that up if you were to power off the device first so it's kind of realistic you can't add anything to a powered on device otherwise you may get electrocuted right so I'm gonna close this one out and we'll get to cabling so um, at this point in the semester you don't know every cable that goes with every device but you will learn as the semester goes on uh, choose the correct cable to connect router FA00 to cloud Ethernet 6 it is a copper straight through cable now one piece of advice and it doesn't always stay true but it's a you'll be like 90 percent of the time right is if they are different devices meaning like a switch to a router um, a PC to a switch, a server to a switch, um, a PC to a wireless router. Most of the time, if they're different devices like that, you're going to use a copper straight through cable. If they are like devices and you're using, you see an Ethernet plug, then you're probably going to use a crossover cable like a switch to a switch, a router to a router, or the exception to that rule is a PC to a router. They sound like different devices, but if you plug a PC directly into a router or a server or some type of end device, you got to use a crossover cable. Um, and of course, there are other cables to use, like a router to a router. Sometimes we use a serial cable. So there are exceptions to the rule um, in different types of plugs as well, but that's just a general knowledge there. So we're going to choose the copper straight through cable, which is this solid black line down here. And then it's waiting for us to come up here and click the two devices to click to connect on each end. So we're connecting the router zero, click on that, 
and then we're doing fast ethernet zero zero. Then we're going to click the cloud infrastructure, which is usually represented about a lot of devices, and we're going to click that and plug it into ethernet six. Okay. Now, typically you see these green lights come up with a lot of cables. That's a good sign, but doesn't always mean you have connectivity and everything's configured correctly. We'll learn about that later as well. Also, you can consult this chart up here if you think you know what type of cable to select, and it'll tell you, uh, you know, what to connect to. All right. Now, it says going to step two, connect the cloud to the cable modem. So we're going to choose the correct uh, connection to click to connect the cloud coax 7 to modem port 0. You can probably guess that would be a cable cord just like at home. If you've got cable internet then you probably have a cable modem then you take a cable cord um, from the wall it may even go through a splitter if you've got it hooked up to a TV too but you take it from the wall and plug it in or screw it in is how a coax cable does uh, to the back of that um, modem. So the cloud is also acting like our internet service provider here. So we're going to choose coax, that's the blue uh, kind of squiggly cable there, and we'll choose coaxial 7 to the cable modems port 0. And if you tried to plug it into the other one, it would just give you an error. But you also notice it has that little dot, that's kind of how a coax end looks. Okay. Next, we are going to move to step two under part two, connect router zero to netacad.pka. Choose the correct cable to connect router zero, FA01, to netacad PKA, FA0. All right, so we're going to use a crossover cable to directly connect the router to the netacad PKA because it's a end device, okay? It says the cable, uh, correct cable, to choose consists of those these crossed wires. That's your crossover cable. Okay, so we're going to use the dotted black line cable down here, and we're going to connect the Netacad PKA FA0. That'd be like plug it into the back of your computer, and plug it into router zero FA1 or fast Ethernet zero one. All right. Now, uh, connect router one to the switch. So we're going to connect the different devices. So we're going to use a straight through cable. And we're going to connect router one, FA10, which it should be zero one there. So just note that FA01 to switch, FA01. Now, actually, for that one, we're going to use a different cable, sorry. I just noticed the uh, router 1 FA10, that is your fiber cable. So let's go grab the fiber, which is right here, the orange one. And we're going to connect router 1's fast Ethernet 1.0. So scratch what I just said. The fast Ethernet 1.0, that's our fiber cable. I should look at the bottom there. And we're going to connect that to the switch fast ethernet zero one and the reason i noticed that is because of these two prongs on the cable that's indicative of a fiber cable okay so that'll negotiate and you'll see both ends turn green but the good thing the learning experience from that is you saw how it tells you an error so all right now we're going to connect the cable modem to the wireless router. Now you may, of course, again, have experience with that at home, but you just use a regular straight through cable for that. Port one on the cable modem to the internet port of the wireless router. So that's going to provide the wireless router with internet from the cable modem, kind of like relaying it to it. The reason we do that is because usually cable modems only have one port as you saw when I clicked on it. So if I would have just only had that, then I'd only be able to connect one computer to it. Most homes today, either you definitely need wireless or you need a connection to multiple devices. So you either need a wireless router, which acts as a 
Wi-Fi provider as well as a switch because usually it has four or more ports on the back that you can directly plug in devices to. Um, so most of the time you need something, uh, more than one computer at home in, in most homes today. Now, next we're going to step three, connect the wireless router Ethernet 1 to the family PC. Now, again, this says wireless router, and I know a while ago I said the router use a crossover cable if you're plugging it directly into an end device, but the ports on the back of a wireless router actually act like a switch. So in this aspect, when I do the family PCs fast Ethernet 0 to Ethernet 1, I'm actually going to just use a straight through cable, okay? Because those ports again act as a uh, switch. All right, let's make sure we didn't miss one because it looks like uh, we may have. Okay, here, uh, right here, choose the correct cable to connect router zero console to configuration terminal RS232. So using that, we would do the console cable and we're going to connect the RS-232 port to Router Zero's console port. Now, we've done that before in previous lab assignments, so that um, in, in uh, Chapter 2. So if you don't remember that, that's the out-of-band connection. You actually don't need internet connectivity to do anything there. We also need to connect these two routers together here. It says connect router zero to router one, and that's using that serial cable. So we're going to choose this red one with the clock here, the serial DCE, and we'll determine the, the difference between the two, the DCE and the DTE, much later um, in the semester. So here we're going to click on R1 S000. That's how they're named with three numbers usually and then connect that to R1's serial zero, 00, and you see that one has two. All right, now that connects everything together. Again, this is just a practice of really cabling the devices in Packet Tracer, kind of like you would in real life. Um, it is just like real life ports, and you've got real life cables down here, even down to USB ports. Um, and then they have you actually ping from one device to the next. It sometimes takes a few seconds or minutes for it to converge across the network, meaning everything come up. Uh, but we can test the, the connection here. So for instance, open the family PC, open a command prompt, and we're going to ping, P-I-N-G, netacad.pka. And see our results. They should start in a moment. Hmm. There we go. So now we got our results. We've got a hundred percent packet um, success rate. Okay. Uh, we can also open the browser, and it says go to HTTP forward slash forward slash netacad.pka and you notice it comes up with the web page. Now these usually don't have outside internet connectivity, but some stuff set up in Packet Tracer for it to work, like fake web pages that would not come up. Uh, we'll ping the switch from the home PC, okay? It says you can ping it. Now there's one other kind of shortcut here that you can do. You can actually click this envelope button, click from like the family, or sorry, the home PC, and then we'll click the second device, which will be the switch over here, okay? So you can actually click each device and then down here, expand this window. You see it said it failed the first time. Let's try to refire it, all right? So now we get successful after a couple of times. Sometimes it fails the first couple of times, keep pressing that red button to refire it, or you can click again and redo it each time. Sometimes, again, it takes the network a little bit to converge. So if it fails the first time, do not panic. Keep trying. If you try more than, like, you know, five to ten times and it's still not working, something's really not configured correctly, okay? Now it says open our router zero from the configuration terminal. Remember to do that. We click on the PC, desktop, terminal, click OK, 
And now we have all of our router configurations here, right? So we could do an enable, do a show run, and we can see all the stuff that's, and you press the space bar to go down, you can see all the stuff that's configured on the actual router, okay? Now they have you examine the cloud. The cloud is a lot of different stuff um, from the physical topology, um, as well as examining some of the secondary networks and stuff like that. But the, the lab at this point is 80 out of 80. You can continue exploring, um, and that concludes Packet Tracer Assignment 4.2.4.4, .4 .4, Connecting a Wired and Wireless LAN.